right, man. Let's talk about uh, David Benavidez and David Morrell. Uh, apparently, my do rag all messed up. It is what it is. But apparently, uh, uh, that's the Benavidez leaked out on Instagram, or somebody leaked the conversation on Instagram that he said he'd be fighting David Morrell next if direct David Morrell accepts the con contract um so shit let's talk about it thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel and that definitely on paper should be the main event should be the main event if t him and tank i heard the other day i got my pbc guy that him and tank is gonna be the uh it's gonna double feature on december 14th this is the better fight but we already know the better fight um don't necessarily mean is that's the main event, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it says David Benavidez versus uh Dave Morrell possible for December. It says David Benavidez re revealed today on social media that he could face WBC regular lightweight champion Dave Morrell next. Uh, Benavidez 29 and 0 and 24 KOs initially says that he was cooking up something big when pressed. He said it was a fight against Morrell 11 and 0 and 9 KOs. Capturing the WA secondary belt from morale would be would give Benavidez more credibility as a challenger to better. No, he already got credibility. People know who he is. You know what I'm saying? He won't fight Canelo Alvarez. So he got credibility. You know, the brother got credibility. I don't know who be writing these weak ass articles, boy. I just need the info. Dan Ambrose trash. He he got credibility. Getting a regular title ain't never gave nobody re credibility in boxing. Getting a regular WBA title, then done more harm than help in boxing. See, Dan don't know shit about boxing. Dan is probably AI or, you know, <laughs> artificial idiot. <laughs> because the regular belt takes you out to run in to to in the other rankings of the belt. You don't are you not a real world champion to begin with. Can't get ranked in other alphabet uh belts. You can't unify belts, so it really puts you in the gray area. You just going around, you know, uh posing as a as a champion when you're not a champion. You posing as a champ. You ain't no champ in my Shannon Brig voice. So when you start getting information like that, like this and all that type of stuff and bad stuff, oh man, this will give him more. No, he got all the notoriety he gonna get. A regular belt ain't gonna give him no notoriety. It ain't gonna give him the notoriety that he's looking for. So if anything, that hurts you. Unless the sanction belt body gonna enforce it, and they really enforce it. So. He said, cooking something up big for y'all for my next fight. Stay tuned if everything goes right. And he accepted Dave Morrell. Uh, Dave Morrell said Dave Benavidez on social media his next fight in December. Now, it was rumored. It was actually rumored that. Uh, it was actually rumored that. Uh, that Dave Morrell was going to be fighting at the Armory. You know what I'm saying? Headline and another fight at the Armory. So maybe they just said, you know what? We might as well go ahead and make this fight. Um, so they might as well say, you might as well say, go ahead and make this fight. Which, you know, may, may me make a lot. Of, I think it make a lot of sense. Then they ain't got to put on another show, spend more money. You kill more. You kill, uh, you know, two birds with one stone. All right. So, I mean, it's a good fight. I mean, David Morrell, you know, in my opinion, um, you know, David Morrell, in my opinion, uh, you know, it didn't look good his last fight. You know, um, yeah, he didn't look good his last fight. So, um, But uh, some people say David Benavidez didn't look his best his last fight. They both debuted at 175. Um, so them two two putting their top fighters in there with each other, you know, it's probably do or die over there. So, um, But I seen a leak, leaked uh, DM on Instagram with him saying that I can't find it. Oh, I know who got it. Hold on. My homie got it. Hold on. Give me a minute. So let me see. I'm going to pull him up. My homie got the info. Let's see, but uh, yeah, he leaked the information out on uh on social media. Um, let's see if he can 
find this man. Uh, there we go. I just seen his name up there. Here we go. Here we go. See if we can. Uh, or maybe, maybe he, maybe I got the wrong guy. He must have took it down because it was a private DM. So yeah, he must have took it down. But I seen a private DM. But apparently, uh, he took it down. So maybe Benavidez told him to take it down or whatever. Or maybe I got the wrong page. But let's see. Pull this shit up. I should have screenshotted it. I don't know why I did not. Uh, oh yeah, I ain't. So yeah, I can't. I can't pull it up. So it is what it is. No. No biggie. But uh, apparently it's out there. But it was a DM that he had, a private DM that they leaked out that he said he was fighting David Morale. So, um, honestly, um, good fight. Um, fight that I think is happening at, at the right time. The second fight at 175, you know, I guess, you know, the, the rumor is David Benavidez is supposed to be uh, going um, – you know, David Benavidez is supposed to be fighting the winner of Better BF Bevel if it ain't no rematch come uh, Cinco de Mayo next year. So apparently, it sound like uh, it sound like uh, you know Crawford could be fighting Canelo on Cinco de Mayo to kind of give you some pushback on that fight date from uh, for Benavidez. So uh, you know, like I continue to say, if that's the case, he gonna fight. On Cinco de Mayo, then uh, then it ain't nothing too much, you know. If Crawford is the Canelo fight, I mean, Ben be that people be better be at winner is gonna have to do something else. So, um, so we have to wait and see exactly what that that something else is. Uh, but uh, but um, but uh. But yeah, you know, as far as winning this fight, man, I mean, I didn't like the way Morel looked. I like Benavidez looked a lot better versus Goldsvig, but then again, you know, people talking about he uh, retired and all that type stuff. So um, it should be a good fight. Um, you know, I probably would favor David Benavidez because he's been in the trenches, but Morel is talented. But the Morel just looked like robotic and slow in this last fight. So, um, but he powerful. But in Hot Rod is a is a really good fighter, but that lets you know like the talent gap, you know, you know, better be, you know, Marcus Brown. I mean, Marcus Brown fought Hot Rod, I think, in PBC's debut. You know, better be have destroyed him, and you know, you know, Baby Morale, he was, he was, he was winning. He was winning. You know, but kind of just faded down the stretch. So I want to do the do the winner of this fight. I want to do the winner of this fight go on and uh I wonder does the winner of this fight go on and uh I wonder does the winner of this fight go on and uh fight the Beaver better BF winner. Cause Beaver ain't moving up no time soon. I could tell you that right now. He ain't moving up no that time that no time soon. So we all know that they ain't moving up. So be better be if he win or lose, he may retire or may move up. He's talking about going up to cruiserweight, heavyweight. Beevil, I don't see that really happening. He make the weight pretty comfortable right now. Uh, he even talking about he could have moved down. You know? So, yeah, I don't really see that coming from him. But um, honestly, uh, this, this, is a, this is a good matchup. This is a real good matchup, and I wonder who's going to win. But I would probably favor Benavidez just because what I know. You know, what I know. What I know. So, and morale, he really ain't really fought. High Rod was a good opponent. He was knocked out by better. BF already got robbed by... Uh, what's the brother's name? Uh, uh, Marcus Brown. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but you know, quite quite frankly, bro, 
I just ain't really seen him, you know, at least I seen, you know, Benavidez in there with Plant, you know, and Darrell and, and guys like that. So, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I just probably favor Benavidez, but morale powerful, uh, should be a good fight. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if morale, if morale didn't take this fight. Remember, uh, 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 remember, uh, uh, what's the brother's name? You know, the brother's name, uh, Uh, Ronnie Shields stopped him from taking the fight the first time. So we have, we have much around to see, but hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the box from our playlist, hit the link tree. You can find me on X, Instagram, Facebook, Amazon, Music, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Check out the Patreon. We cooking. Don't forget, we back posting on the Free Game 89 channel. Did two videos yesterday over there. Um, that links in the link tree, FR33 uh, Game 89. Check out my Detroit channel, Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate the love, support. Want to donate, share, subscribe to the channel. Peace.